Hello, I'm Luis Alcantar, and this is El Intermedio, and a space to talk about movies. I ask Marley Maxwell her five favorite movies that she'll bring to an island. Hello, what's up? My name is Marley Maxwell. I'm a webcam model and content creator since 2019. Um, so Lewis asked me if I had five movies that I could take with me to a deserted island to watch the rest of my life, which would they be? And I thought that was a great question, and I have quite a few answers. So I'm going to start off with my favorite, I Love The Shining. I mean, a classic Stanley um, Kubrick film. Really great movie and just great cinematography. It's beautiful, it's scary. When I read the book, um, by Stephen King. It was the first book that actually scared me, and I think Kubrick did an amazing job with his adaptation, despite Stephen King not loving it, <laughs> but um, I thought it was an amazing film, one of the first horror movies I ever saw, and I've seen it a million times since then, and I still love it. Um, totally love the idea of, like, cabin fever. Pretty cool um, concept. Let's see. So my next um, movie on the list, as you can tell, I'm a huge horror fan, was Hereditary, and that was directed by Ari Aster, another really good film. This is, like, a new age horror film that I feel, like, really lives up to, like, the past type of, um, some older horror films, you know, I feel like nowadays we don't get many great ones, um, but Hereditary is awesome, really strange twisted concept and I loved the idea of like a deity basically using this family as like physical to be like the physical whatever reincarnation of this demon um <laughs> uh, so if you've seen that movie you know it's very freaky and yeah just uh brilliant mind on that one he has great movies as well shout out to midsummer too didn't make my list but i love that movie too um the next movie i would have to say would be um the bitter tears of petra von kant and this is um it's like a, a queer film about this um lesbian fashion designer and she's a bit toxic and it's like this love triangle between um two of her female assistants and it gets it gets pretty uh gets pretty messy, but it's a, another film. It's just one of those movies I think is just so beautifully produced. It's like the cinematography is just amazing and has an overall kind of dreary vibe. Like you can almost tell like something bad is gonna happen the whole movie. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's a another great film and a, like. Definitely an iconic queer film for sure. Just beautiful and the soundtrack in it is great too. Um, so <laughs> here's another one. Um, now the, these last two are kind of like wild cards. Um, the Godfather would be my fourth um, favorite movie. Just, I mean, obvious reasons. If you are into mobster films, this is one of the best and I, it reminds me of, it's like a very nostalgic, nostalgic film for me, and I think, you know, it's just an, a classic, and I love it. It's one of those movies I could put on and enjoy it every time, even though it's incredibly long. <laughs> um, almost too long for my attention span sometimes, but I still love it. Just, you know, anything to do with Italian mobster films, I'm all in. Um... Now, this last one surprised me when I saw it because I was not expecting to be, I was like, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be anything special. Um, but Bullet Train, actually, um, the movie that just came out a few, I want to say last year or two years ago. Um, now, that's a great movie. I wasn't expecting it. You know, it's kind of just a star-studded film, um, you know, about these assassins on one train and they're all kind of on their own paths and all this stuff going on. But the the idea behind it, I find that it actually had a really beautiful meaning behind it, um, despite it just being kind of this action flick, which is never really my kind of thing, but um, unless it's like The Godfather or um, Scarface. Um, so yeah, it actually, I feel 
had, um, it really revolved around luck and had some really good messages in it too. And um, really uh, revolved around luck and loyalty and like um, family, surprisingly. It was a really great film and I think it was way, way better than I expected it to be. And I'm happy I saw it because now it's one of my favorites. But yeah, those are all of my favorite movies. Thank you so much, Lewis, for asking me. I thought that was a really great question and I had a lot of fun thinking about it. It took me a little bit to be like, hmm, what really are, to narrow it down to some of my favorite movies, what would it, like, what would they be? It's, it's quite hard. Um, but yeah, um, they're some honorable mentions, I will say. Like I said, Midsummer. Um, Scarface. I also um, love, what was I going to say? What was the other? Oh, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, which is just like one of the, like my, we all have a tearjerker movie that we like to watch when we're sad. That's mine. War Girl Interrupted. Um, and yeah, I think that sums it up pretty much. So thank you again, Lewis. And yeah. I can't wait to see what else everyone else uh, said was their favorite movies. So, yeah, thank you. Bye.